in WordPress, you have both pages and posts. And the difference is that pages is more static nature. It could be the home page, about us page, contact page, but posts are more meant for blog posts or news articles and that type of content. And you can also see here under posts in the menu that we have categories and tags. And if we go to pages, there are just an add new link. So we have some more taxonomies for posts to work with. And all posts must belong to one or more categories. And a category could be if you, for example, have a sports news site, could be soccer, ice hockey, wrestling. Uh, and then you have the tags and they are more niched or narrow. So that could be like a specific sports team or a specific person. And tags is not mandatory. So you can skip tags if you don't need them. Uh, but you have to have at least one category per post. And this is also an, a convenient way for your visitors to browse your news articles to, to choose different categories to see them. By default, WordPress creates the category and categorized, but it doesn't look too fancy. So we're going to create our own categories. And we're starting out by creating the category case. And we'll have one more category called inspiration. And you can create how many categories you like. And uh, we're going to remove this one a little bit later, but we have to make a setting before that's possible. So let's go to all posts. And uh, we can see that there are actually no posts here. There's one post in the trash can, which is the hello world, which is the um, default post that WordPress creates for us. So we can just delete that from the trash can, keeping it empty. And uh, to add a new post, yeah, you guessed it right. We just click add new. And we can take a look here at the um, demo site. If you go to the news page, you can see that we have the categories here in the um, navigation. So we can just filter out the category that we want to see, or we can browse all news from all categories. And if we click a news article, we can see that they have a featured image in top. They belong to a category, in this case, case. They have a header or a title, and they have a published date. And then we have some uh, content here, could be text and images and other stuff. We have a sidebar and we have related content in the bottom. And then we have our global footer. So the thing we are going to create now is the categories. Publish date comes automatically when you publish an article. We're going to upload this featured image and we're going to add the main body content. And the sidebar, the related content block and the footer will be global elements that we will add later on in the theme builder as a post content template. So let's go back here and we are going to work with the, the standard WordPress editor when we create posts. This works really nice when you're creating simple news articles. And uh, if you want to, you can use the Divi Builder, but we're going to save it for later when we work with our pages. So we will start by adding a title for our post. And I'll just type lorem ipsum, my first post here. And then I can click use the default editor. And now I can just paste my content here. And if I want to, I could of course, add an image or other media. So I click the plus sign up to the left to add a block. And I say that I want to add an image here. So I just drag it and drop it. And I go to the media library and I choose an image, select. And then I have added an image to my post. And you have some other blocks here that you can use video and buttons and stuff. Let's keep it simple for now. To the right, I have some other settings. Uh, we have categories. And if this is uh, collapsed, you can expand it by clicking the arrow. And uh, I will assign this to the category case. We'll skip tags, but I want a featured image. And uh, just to explain what that is, we can see that in the top here in our post template, we have an image. This is the featured image of this post. If I go to the home page, browse down, I see the, th the latest three news articles here. And this is the 
feature image displayed automatically or dynamically in this grid. And if I go to the news page, this is the feature images showing above the post. So they are displayed in three different places here in our example. So let's choose a feature image for this post. I go to the media library and uh, I'll take a picture here. There we got it. And I click publish. I click on the WordPress logo in the upper left corner and I want to add another post. Here we go, our second news article, Lorem Ipsum. Use the default editor. And this time I'm going to assign it to the category inspiration. And uh, let's set another featured image. There we go. Let's paste some content here as well. And click publish. Okay, so I've added six news articles to this demo site uh, and I will not let you stick around to watch me do the same thing four more times. So we will fast forward that. Welcome back. I have created six posts in two different categories. And if we take a look at our homepage, we can see that those posts are actually listed on the home page and we can see the featured images, the headings, publish date, category and also the excerpt. And if I click the post, I can read the full post content. But this doesn't look too good, I think. So um, the thing we are aiming for here is on our start page or our home page. We will uh, display the three latest posts in a nice grid design. And on the news page, we will have a nice list of news and a neat sidebar. And if we click a post, we will have this design. And we'll also display related content. But this will be done later in the Divi theme builder where we will create a post template. So for now, we have created our posts. 